we're having some trouble with our hot water heater. It seems to be tripping the circuit breaker. And I've got the two covers off of it. What I can see here is a little bit of arcing. Some black soot on that insulating cover. The cover that was over on the top didn't have any signs of any arcing. Try to dig into this and see what's going on. Oh, that doesn't look too good, does it? See a little soot on the temperature control. Some burn marks on a heating element. So we'll check the resistance on the element and then uh, see if replacing the element and where the control is going to take care of this problem. Yeah, the front side of this cover and a little bit of soot marks, but the back of it tells me where the problem is and it's right at the heating element. Looks like a lot of condensation here. So maybe that contributes to the problem. Getting some shorting or something where the element shot. So we'll check the resistance and troubleshoot this. There are lots of good troubleshooting guys online so I won't bore you with those troubleshooting procedures. So I've replaced the element and let me show you a couple of things that's going on with it. If you look Carefully there, you can see that the element is split open, and there's the resistive heating element coil right there. So I'm going to assume that the fact that this heating rod is split open, corroded open, that creates a dead short to ground. So you can imagine applying 240 volts to these terminals. This is open circuit right now. Look, I did a resistance check, and there, it's a uh, infinite resistance so it's open but you can imagine the current flowing from that uh, to the water and then water to ground so I'm going to assume that that's what's causing my circuit breaker trip and then a couple other tricks I want to show you you can see this drain cock right here I was not able to get my hose on it uh, this drip pan is in the way and I just really didn't want to cut it. So not able to get my hose on it. So what I did was I shut off the valve up here, the supply valve. Shut the supply valve off and then I got my new element ready and I quickly removed the old element. It's one and a half inch socket. Remove the old element screwed in the new element and believe it or not I did not have water gushing out of this so the only water that I have is that spilled out it didn't even it didn't even gush out of the hole it just slowly leaked out of uh, the opening for the heating element I've got a little bit of water in the pan but it's less than, I don't know if you can see that, but that's how much water I have in the pan. Um, call that an inch, more or less. I've got an inch of water in the pan. Uh, so I'll get that water drained out. It's not, it won't go out that drain, it's not high enough, but I'll get that water drained out so I don't rust this the bottom of this hot water tank out. But I wanted you to see that I could not twist this drain cock and I didn't have enough uh, other fittings with me that allowed me to get, put a hose on that. So that's just a little trick. You actually don't have to drain the tank completely. I didn't have a tripod for my camera so I couldn't show you how that works but you, know, you can see the end result in terms of the amount of water that's left. I mean it is a good sized pan and it's an inch thick. I actually took my time with it and uh, wasn't panicked. So provided the water is cold, you can do this. One other tip for you is before you drain the tank, you should try to loosen up both heating elements. That allows you to use the weight of the tank as sort of counter leverage as you're trying to remove the element. My elements came out really, really easy, so I don't think I would have had any problem even if the tank had been drained. But if you are going to drain your tank, you might want to loosen your element first before you completely drain the tank. That allows the weight of the tank to help um, counteract the torque you're going to try to put on a stuck element.
All right, so I need to try to replace this top element. There's nothing wrong with it from what I can tell, but since I'm here, this thing is inside a closet. So it's sort of a pain to get to. Since I'm here, I may try to change that element and if I can find a way to hold my camera, maybe film it for you so you can see how much water comes out when I loosen that. So we're gonna take this element out and see how much water runs out of it. Shouldn't be much. There'll be some, but... Oh, it's still recording, I think.